How you doing? Nice to meet you. Come on in. Have a seat right here. How you doing? Yes. Nice to meet you. I've heard so much about you. Yes. Thomas telling me all about you and then your resume slide across my desk. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Here's a copy of my resume. Yes. I'm so happy to meet you. Yes. I am so happy to meet you too as well. I've heard a lot about your company. Tom just had to connect us. He said he thought that I would be a great fit. So I'm so excited. I'm glad that you accept my resume. So do you have any questions? Oh, tell me a little bit about yourself. <laughs> wow. Well, I am a security guard and I work for the company Ally Universal. They're a very prestigious um, company. A lot of employers work with them and they have combined with several security companies to make the company more efficient so I've been at the company for about two years now. I also attend Independence University, which is a very credible online college, and I've taken Zig Accounting, and that's why I'm here for this job here. Um, Tom thought me be very quick, very equipped because I have an analytical eye. I pay very close attention to detail, so I'm able to catch um, any small or minute things that may have been off that a lot of people may not think that it's a problem. Why would you like to work with us? I would like to work for your company because I know that you all are a very prestigious company. You're making mass checks for many human resources department and you're taking people's information and you're keeping it secure and you're keeping it as safe as well. You don't want to defraud the people. You want to make sure that they're getting their correct taxes, the correct amount that they're supposed to be getting, and the direct deductions that are supposed to be taken out their wages. And I'm here on board for you as well as a forensic accountant. I will surely make sure that nobody is being defrauded. What are some of your strengths? Oh, okay. So you would like to know some of my strengths. My first strength is, is that I'm a team player. My second strength is, is I know how to pay close attention to detail. I was able to catch many of fraudulent cases that people were tried to pass over and also put it in encrypted files. I was able to save my last company plenty and tons of money that people were trying to fraud their system. What is your ideal company? What's my ideal company? My ideal company is a company that is honest, that is trustworthy, that is on the ball. What's my ideal company? My ideal that is true, that works well, and plenty of diversity is in all elements of the company. I believe diversity is very huge, and I would love to work for a company that is absolutely diverse. I would love also my ideal company is full of integrity and do everything upfront and trustworthy so that it benefits the business, it benefits the clients, and it also benefits investors so that we can grow. Ask you another question? Yes, I'm enjoying this interview, I sure am. So where would you like to be in your career in the next five years? Well, where I see my career at in the next five years is up into the next level of forensic accounting. I would rather work with the computer system making applications to detect fraudulent act, um, activity. And I would like to do that within my company, the company that I'm working for. And I would hope that I would want to work for this company because I did hear that you have a department that specializes in that as well. So after coming in and going over a couple of cases, and seeing if I can find any activity, getting familiar with the paperwork and documents, I would love to move up to that department. Tell me how you dealt with a difficult situation. I dealt with a very difficult situation is when I worked at a company about two years ago. Um, there was some information, we were looking into a case, and there was some information that we knew was there, but we could not find anymore. I mean, the whole team was looking through the files, thumbing through the trash cans of the computers, trying to see where did this documentation come because we knew that we had had it. Well, we actually picked up this application just to further dive into the computer and see what was going on, see if there was any encrypted files, and sure enough, it was. There was a case where there was an employee and he had downloaded this software to hide all of the files that fraudulent activity was showing on. Now that was so difficult because we found out that the person 
was our CEO. And I mean, wow. I mean, can you imagine the owner of the business cheating the business? That was a very difficult situation. We didn't know how to approach it and how to get it out. But we did have to seek outside sources. So we've all been through that before. So tell me. What is one of your weaknesses? Well, normally when I get to doing a project, I like to finish that project all the way to the end without any time constraints. But I do know that sometimes with companies, you do have time constraints and you do have deadlines. So I've learned how to put myself on a timer, remind myself on the calendar days before the deadline so that I'm able to finish on time and that I'm able to dive deep into my work and get it all done. Me working with coworkers can be difficult. You never know how they'll come in, how they're feeling. Now we're not supposed to bring our business into work, but you know what? It happens all the time. So please tell me, how would you deal with a difficult coworker? How would I handle a different coworker? I would probably handle a difficult coworker with respect. You never know what um, people are going through from their day-to-day -day life. I mean, if it was a situation that got completely out of hand, um, that I felt like I was being disrespected or that my verse, voice was not being heard, I would have to take it up a little notch um, and talk to management. I mean, but if we could work out something, get on better communication with each other, I would be more than happy to work with that coworker and probably deflate, you know, that complicated situation. Now, besides dealing with coworkers, we might make some mistakes from time to time. Tell me when you made a mistake and tell me how would you how did you handle it? Excuse me. Yes. Okay, a time that I made a mistake on a job, and I can laugh at it now, but it's when I first start working, and I worked for a company called A Abco Rents. And um, we put together, you know, extravagant parties for people by renting them tables and, you know, chairs and different things like that. And it was a wedding and it was the woman's wedding day. And I had did her paperwork and I forgot to order her linen. And I, had, I forgot to, so I forgot to order her linen. And when I forgot to order her linen, so the day of her wedding came and she called up, I mean, two hours before her wedding was going to start. I kind of thought, why didn't she call earlier? But she called two hours before her wedding was going to start and was like, I didn't get my linen. I didn't get the color. And the funniest thing about it is in a couple of hours, the place was going to close where I could get the linen. And it was in South San Francisco. Need I remind you, I worked in Redwood City. So I had to get in my car, leave work, drive to the factory, get the stuff, Take it to the wedding in Daly City. That was the goodest thing. It was a Daly City. So I took it to the wedding in Daly City, dropped it off, actually helped put it on some tables. And um, I believe they had a beautiful reception after their wedding. But yeah, I didn't know what to do. I was panicking and all the rest of that. But I ended up figuring it out, getting it together. I mean, I took a deep breath and I'm like, no, this is not going to end like this on my watch. And it didn't And I'm so thankful. <laughs> okay, the last question that I have for you is, how would you handle uncomfortable feedback? I take feedback like I take advice. And I take exactly what I need from that feedback and I apply it to improve. I mean, it's always good to improve. It's always good to upgrade. It's always good to elevate yourself. And so I don't see feedback I think that's what it is. I don't see feedback as a negative. Well, thank you so much. I enjoyed this interview with you. It's been a beautiful interview. Thank you for asking all, answering all of my questions. I know I had a few, but I appreciate your time. Thank you and nice meeting you as well. You have some tough questions, young lady. I'm looking forward to talking to you further and um, seeing what we can work out. Be looking to hear a phone call from us in about the next week.